one thing that makes this GUI ID different than the conversation handle is that it doesn't have to be auto-generated. Anyway, you know what to do? Yeah, I'll get right to it. Hi Ben, I'm Carlotta, the new recruiter. How are you? Uh, hi Carlotta. I'm okay. What can I do for you? As I'm new, I'd like to learn more about everyone's work here. Do you have a moment? Sure. New work from the nation's top scientists on the zombie virus that appeared two weeks ago. They released information saying that the symptoms to watch for are aggression, foaming from the mouth, tears, and an unbelievable hunger. Be advised that if the infected becomes hostile, the only way to harm them is to shoot them. Trick or treat. Who are you? Ever heard of knocking? Are we testing? I'm Carlotta, the new recruiter. Can I appease you with a drink or dinner? Or both? Wow. Sorry, I'm Walter Pinhead. Um, yes, of course. That would be great. What is it? So sorry. I forgot my phone. I have to get it. Can't it wait till later? I need to be reachable 24-7. Finally! Let's go! That was a lovely evening. You have such a dry sense of humor. I sure enjoyed it. You're not so bad for a headhunter. Oh, shit. Now what? My keys are at the office. Can you swing by? You're the most disorganized sysadmin I've ever come across. How do you keep things running? Oh, you know, it's all scripted and cron-tabbed. No worries. You'll get your keys. That's the first. Stop joking and listen up. I'm sorry. Whatever happened? Carlotta somehow got hold of my head and of everyone else's on the floor. How do you know about the others? Behind you. I could blow your head off, but that would be a waste. I need your help. The gun would have been enough. No need for those clothes to scare me. Anyway, what do you want? I'll tell you in my own. Play along. You probably wonder what I'm up to. Could you please put the gun down? It's making me nervous. All right. Now pay attention. What you see here is a complex brain trust. The group I work for has found a way to harness the smarts of human brains, thus creating the first humanized computing device. 
a piece of wetware, if you will. Unfortunately, in the current setup, the heads don't last very long, and fresh ones are needed all the time. We do preserve the bodies to be rejoined with their used up heads later. Once a year, on Halloween, we send them out to have some fun. At the end of their useful life, we reunite the heads with the bodies and release the individuals free to go wherever they please. They seem to gravitate to graveyards. Fascinating. Thanks for sharing this. So where do I come in? You're okay with this? My co-workers always make fun of me, so I frankly don't give a hoot what happens to them. Well, this is your chance to leave them behind. If you join us, you will be well rewarded and laugh at their pettiness. But you'll have to prove yourself. How? I've tried to transfer the heads to the brain trust, but I have trouble getting past the firewall. I need you to open port 666. Can you do it? I have to be very careful, there is triple protection. It normally takes more than one person, but as there is no one left, I'll try. Can I help? It requires a biometric ID and such, so it wouldn't work for you. This will take a couple of hours. I'll need a coffee. Want some? Sugar please, lots of sugar. Oh, and leave your phone here. You won't need it. Pinhead, it's no use. All outside lines go through my phone. Now be a good boy and get me my coffee. What a treat. Right. Well, I would like to explain to you what I'm going to do, so you know why it will take some time. Okay, go ahead. I've told you there are three layers of security. I have to make each layer temporarily dormant, so I can pass on to the next layer. At the same time, I have to make sure that nothing from the outside gets in. To this end. I'm adding an additional extreme layer that simulates regular traffic. Without this layer on the independent security monitoring system would play I have put her to sleep. Now, tell me what happened. Well, Carlotta video called me just to chat. She then asked me to click a confirmation message that appeared. It seemed harmless enough. And I guess I was, uh, well, bewitched. That figures. Then what? He was weird. As soon as I clicked the message, I heard like a pop. He was staring at my headless self, sitting in the chair. Okay, I'm going to set this right. Don't lose your head over this. Oops. headshot. Listen, I will release you, but only if you tell me how to free the others. You... tricked me. Bah. 
Your tree tasted nasty. Now, out with it, or you'll end up in that think tank. Please go ahead, and start freeing the others. I'll phone the boss. Miss, you're fired. Gentlemen, she is all yours. Fuck you. Mr. Robinson, good thing you called us. This is too big for the locals. Glad to do my civic duty. Besides, you know, I have fond memories of the Bureau. Wow. You are one of us, sir. Shh. <laughs> you did well, and deserve a treat. Let's join the others for some candy. No more tricks tonight. 